both table and the view are what we call permanent relation uh, relations, which means once defined, it exists there until you drop it. It uh, persists in the database's uh, definition, database storage. There are also non-permanent uh, relations. The first one is temporary table. It will exist only for the user session from when you log in to after you log, it will got dropped after you log out. So syntax of this temporary table is uh, vendor specific for, for Postgres, it will be create temporary table. The rest is the same. So basically it's the same as uh, defining a regular table. You just add a temporary, the word temporary in front of the table uh, between create and the table. What it does is we create this table after you log out, this table will automatically got dropped. So it was, it's a very useful um, if you are just trying to play with something and it does not require a certain, uh, does not require to keep it forever. The downside of this is uh, because this is a temporary table, it's difficult for SQL to to execute, to, to identify the most optimal way of execution and to give it a better performance. So there are different uh, reasons of using or not using temporary table, but uh, the most common usage actually is not for data scientists. It's uh, more for those who, those data guys who, those data engineers who try to load data and in the process of load, data loading, they want to do some manipulations. Uh, that's when they want to create a temporary table because those temporary tables is uh, easier to create uh, in the session. When they have this uh, data loading process, they will log in into database from some remote database and run this temporary table and uh, create uh, and run some manipulations. Um, and once you leave, they don't need to write a drop table statement. So this is the best way of uh, the best thing for a computer, for a data engineer that you, they can do whatever they want without cleaning up, right? That's an engineer stream. Um, <clears throat> but uh, for data scientists, usually we don't use it uh, unless you have a habit of, um, of using temporary table for specific reason in your environment. Usually this is a system environment related. A very common usage of um, non-temporary table is common table expression. Common table expression is a relation that is created as a part of a query. It's a query defined as a part of a query. And it's only effective for the for the specific for life of that specific query. Uh, it it it's basically like this. You will write a query, something like this, right? Put this into parentheses. Then, similar to when you define this with a table alias, you will put the alias here. You will put a width at the very beginning. You will say width alias as something and the on and on alias as something. This is the header. This is the common table expression header, the waste block. Once you finish this waste block, you will have a bunch of relations defined. Then in your main select cross, in your main select uh, statement, you can utilize these common table expressions. They are are, there are two reasons that you want to use a common table expression. One is that you don't have the ability, you don't have the privilege to create a view. And this is actually the most common reason because in the enterprise database system, um, data engineers, um, data, the database administrators hate people when they create uh, objects. Because uh, if, uh, especially for data scientists, the data scientists have a reputation of creating tables and uh, for one-time uh, one usage and do not, uh, do not drop them. For this reason, um, a lot of companies have a heavy restriction 
on data scientists, uh, on what they can do in certain schema. They cannot create this table, they cannot create a table, they cannot create a view, something like this. If you cannot, if you happen to be a part of this, <laughs> that you cannot create a view, it does not have the privilege, your administrator does not uh, want to provide you with this privilege, or maybe there is, you are allowed to, but uh, it will take you two months to get one create one view created. Then the easiest way is to create a common table expression. And as you write this waste block, this waste block is uh, um, is a uh, is universal. You can save it as your code in your code library. And every time you want to run it, you, you want to use it. You copy this waste block in front of your select clause. So this is how you are going to use that. Another reason for using a common table expression is that you can use it to create a recursive data set. Um, this is uh, too much, uh, this is uh, beyond the discussion of our course. Um, but basically, as you can see here, you can utilize this, you can use some CTE here, right? And the CTE is defined here. In fact, inside this CTE, inside this the common table expression, Instead of uh, selecting from table one, you can also select from yourself. There's nothing stopping you from doing this selecting from yourself. So it will be select from a table union something select from CT. That's when you will have a recursive data set. You will have the endpoint, which eventually you will take everything from table one, or and you can have a recursive part, a recursive query where you can select. You, you are unioning this uh, select table select from table with a select from CTE itself. Uh, but this is beyond the discussion of our course. So I'm just letting you know there's such thing as a recursive CTE and uh, you, can use, you, you can use it.